much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let me tell you who's going to be on the program in the next half hour. Julie uh, Crone, a uh, fantastically successful jockey, will be with us. And she's like 24 years old, Paul. How successful? Exactly. Well, we're going to find out when she comes out here. Did you get that lotion, by the way? Also, storyteller Pearl Burnett, and she's going to come out and tell us all a lovely story. So, ah, storyteller. That's right. And tomorrow on the program, Brother Theodore will be with us, and uh, musician slash actor Branford Marsalis, yes. and uh, actor Matt Frewer. That'll yeah. be tomorrow night on, on the uh, <coughs> program. You know, <laughs> since we've uh, been on the air here at uh, CBS, we have placed <laughs> NBC. It's NBC. Uh, we have placed, how many calls, Paul, do you think we've made? Oh, countless calls. Maybe 60, 70, 100 phone calls since we've been on the air? 100,000 phone calls, yeah. at least. And, and out of all of those phone calls, how many would you say have been completed successfully? Not many. Not too many. No, not many. We, we have a lot of trouble, and it seems like here lately we just can't really get a call to work properly. Either something's wrong with me, something's wrong with the phone, something's wrong with the person we call. Something always happens, and it ruins a lot of good, clean fun for for you, the American viewing public. So we thought what we would do tonight is get a phone call for you that would work sure fire, and we would also take great caution to make sure that nothing could go wrong. So here's what we're going to do tonight. We're going we're to place a phone call in a minute. We just want to get one solid phone call under our belt. Now, we're going to call my parking garage here in Midtown Manhattan. There it is, over on 48th Street. There, I think you can see the phone. It should be, there it is. <laughs> And, and I'm going to ask them if it's all right if I pick my car up at 8 o'clock. So that's, that's the phone call. Now, let me tell you what we're going to do to make sure nothing go wrong. Uh, sometimes the phone doesn't work, as I mentioned. So to ensure that that doesn't happen here tonight, we have a gentleman who is a qualified telephone technician, John Keaveny. John, can you come out here for us, please? John Keaveny will come out and make sure. Hi, John. How are you? There's the phone, John. Do you, do you work for NBC, for AT&T? Who do you work for? With NBC. You're with NBC, and you know everything there is to know about phones, don't you? Right. Okay, this is the man, Paul, that will tell us if the equipment is ready to go. Ready to go, sir. Perfect working order. Ready Perfect. to go. Okay, good. Thank you very much, John. <laughs> now, uh, uh, sometimes because uh, I'm trying to talk while I dial, and I've got several things on my mind, I will dial the wrong number. Now, to prevent that tonight, we have someone here to dial the number for me. This is, this is Joe Fury. He is the man at our reception desk. He handles all of our incoming and outgoing telephone calls. Hi, Joe. How are you? Would you consider yourself to be an above-average dialer? Yes. Okay, Joe. That's, that's the number we're going to be calling in a couple of minutes. Uh, familiarize yourself with that. Uh, sometimes in the heat of the uh, program, when I, when I uh, talk to the people on the, uh, on the telephone, my, I will frighten them because I'm, I'm pretty excited about the whole thing. So to make sure that doesn't happen tonight, we've asked our uh, production assistant, Barbara Sheehan, to come out. Barbara, come on out, and she will actually be doing the initial talking. Hi, Barbara. What's, what's the matter? Nice to see you. And Barbara, we don't, we don't want to frighten the person off the phone. Would, would it be safe to describe you as a soft-spoken person? Sure. I'm sorry? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> now, the, the other aspect of this is you must, you must get the permission of the person you're calling to use their voice on the air. And to make sure we live up to that obligation in no uncertain terms is NBC attorney Drew Kastner. He was here tonight. Drew? Nice to see you, Drew. Now, I, You'll, you'll be able to listen to what they say to make sure they've given their okay to use their voice on the air. Is That's that right? right. We're all hooked up here. Okay. Um, now, the other, the other problem we get when we place phone calls is sometimes there will be nobody home. So to ensure that that has not happened, we've sent uh, staff runner Dave Rogalski over to the parking garage, and he's here now to tell us if, in fact, there is somebody. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? Hi, Dave. Nice job. Dave, is there somebody at the parking garage yeah, now? Yeah, I saw him there. You saw somebody there? Yeah. And you saw the telephone. Yeah. So you're under the impression we will get a response. Sure. So okay. Answer. Okay. And, and uh, in case of uh, fire or explosion or perhaps uh, releasing of uh, dangerous fumes, we have from the New York City Fire Department, Captain John Serrato. John, are you... Uh... 
Good to see you, John. Thank you very much. <coughs> All right. Have I covered everything? All right, here we go. We're going to try now. We're going to call my garage, ask them, can I pick up my car at 8? I'll turn the phone over to Joe Fury, our receptionist. He will do the dialing. He'll then handle it to, hand it to Barbara Sheehan, who will ask to speak with them. Drew Kastner will make sure they've given the necessary approval. And then I'll ask them if I can pick it up at 8 o'clock. Nicely done, Joe. Thank you. That seemed to go pretty smoothly. It's ringing. All right. Should be Barbara Sheehan now asking. Hi, this is Barbara Sheehan calling from The Letterman Show. Dave wants to talk. Hello? Oh, no. This is Barbara Sheehan from The Letterman Show. Oh, no. Hello? Oh, oh now what? Hello? This oh. is Barbara Sheehan from The Letterman Show. Dave wants to talk to you. Can I put your voice on the air? Okay. All right, he can't hear us, but what do we care if he can hear us or not? <laughs> it's okay? Legally, Drew, it's all right? Clear. Thank you very much. He Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? John, let me borrow your axe. Everyone stand back. Everyone...